Research indicates that more than 95% of onion site contain illegal material. However, dark web is also used by people involved in free speech, press, and whistleblowing. Hello everyone, my name is Radish Gupta, cybersecurity author and practitioner. In this video, we'll learn how dark web can be used for some really good purpose, like free speech very specifically. We'll be taking some very popular example, starting with BBC. We'll be covering some of the most popular example, starting with BBC News. Countries like China, Iran, Vietnam are among those who have tried to block the access to BBC News. That's why BBC News has launched its mirror site on dark web. You can find the link in the description. And of course, you only need the Tor browser to access this site. Next, we'll be taking the example of ProPublica. ProPublica is an investigative journalism outlet which has a presence on the surface web, but also available on the dark web. ProPublica doesn't shy away from any controversial topics, such as child labor and corrupt politicians. You can find the Onion link in the description. Next, we'll talk about Secure Drop. That's an example of whistleblower site. Now, whistleblower is a person who could be an employee of the company or employee of a government agency, disclosing information to the public about any wrongdoing which could be in the form of fraud or corruption. Secure Drop is an onion site directory on the dark web where you can report any sensitive document securely with media houses such as Washington Post, The Guardian, The Intercept or Al Jazeera. You can find the Secure Drop link of all these media houses in the description. All right, so this was all about making use of dark web for free speech. If you enjoyed watching this video, you can leave a like. You can also follow me on Twitter. Bye for now.